Good evening. Tonight, we have come together from across the country to celebrate those who have made supporting children their life's work. Through my Be Best Initiative's focus on children's well-being, I've had an honor of meeting with young people in foster care who have shared their stories and recommendations for our national child welfare system. Our first priority must be preventing abuse and neglect from ever happening in the first place. The administration has been working hard to increase prevention efforts and strengthen families and communities. This is even more important during the COVID-19 pandemic. For the third year in a row, the number of children entering foster care has gone down. We must continue to work with agencies and courts to support families so that more children can safely stay in their own homes. For those children who can't, we are committed to making sure they still have the care and support of loving, permanent families. On June 24, 2020, President Trump signed a historic executive order on strengthening the child welfare system for America's children. Every child deserves to have a family who will love and support them forever. This is why I have joined Assistant Secretary Lynn Johnson in issuing a national call to action through the All In Foster Adoption Challenge to make sure that all invading children find the love and security of a forever home. Through the All In Foster Adoption Challenge, we are engaging leaders in every state to commit to being all in for awaiting children. Everyone can do their part, and we need more people like you who are committed to make a difference. We can all be encouraged by the progress we have seen. Last year, there were over 66,000 adoptions from foster care, the highest number ever achieved in our country. We are so grateful for all of the families who have welcomed children into their lives. And while we celebrate this progress, we also know there is more to be done. Right now, there are nearly 122,000 children in foster care who have adoption as their goal, but who are still waiting for a permanent family. Without immediate action, too many of these children will age out of the foster care system without the security and stability that only a family can provide. I know many of you have personally answered this call and have experienced the joy of growing your family through adoption and giving love, security, and a sense of belonging to a child in need. Thank you so much for your commitment to our children. I'm incredibly proud of the work that has already been accomplished. Tonight is an opportunity to celebrate that success and to support and inspire each other so that we can do even more. Congratulations to all of the honorees. Together, we can make sure that every child in America has a safe, stable, and loving home. Thank you, and God bless you, and God bless your families.